Hey CamFam, welcome back and welcome to our channel if we're new here. Before we get into our toddler boy hairstyle video number 38, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do that. Uh, also hit that bell icon beside it, that way you'll be notified anytime we post a new video. Thumbs up this video if you like it and don't forget to hit us up in the comment section down below. We absolutely love talking to you guys in the comment section and if you could please share this video with your friends and family your social media that would be great all right so let's get into it okay so aztec healing clay we're adding that in it's going to be uh two parts of the clay one part of the liquid you can either use water or you can use uh apple cider vinegar i went with the apple cider vinegar um just make sure it's like that raw that good stuff not like the hair store weird stuff um i got this at my grocery store so you're gonna add that in i did put a little bit of water in um with this because i just i don't know i didn't want to use too much apple cider vinegar it fizzes up totally normal mix it up and then let's get started I was going to do this as a video telling you guys all about porosity, uh, especially about low porosity, like products and stuff like that, but it would just not make too much sense like trying to do it over this video. So I'm going to actually do like a little sit down, like a little five, ten minute video for you guys so you guys can have a little bit more understanding of porosity and low porosity just in case your kitties um, have the same hair as Cam. So I decided to not put it in all of his hair because I just kind of wanted to give it a little test run at first. So I'm just doing it in the back where his hair is a little bit um, drier and I can see that it's like a tighter curl at the back. Um, the clay is supposed to help with curl definition. It's supposed to help with moisture. Um, it's just supposed to be um, kind of like a restoring agent. So I'm putting in the back. I put it in the front as well um, Just to get a taste of what it does to make sure that I like how it leaves his hair And then I'll know next time if I want to like use it and all ugh, Sorry use it on all of it or not at all, but I did end up liking it I did like the result, so I will be using it again. I do want to make sure that you guys know do not use this very often this is like a once a month thing you don't want to put this in his in their hair too much um you can either use water or you can use the apple cider vinegar like i did um i will probably next time do it with water i just don't like putting a lot of like you know strong things in there even though the apple cider vinegar isn't bad um i just prefer um using the water and then i would do his whole head with it instead of doing half and using just the apple cider vinegar so this is his conditioner i'm adding in honey this is just regular like craft honey i got this from mcdonald's when i bought nuggets um and i'm just mixing that in there because we have to deep condition it we have to put that moisture back into the hair because it does kind of strip it to make sure it gets it absolutely clean and make sure that it gets like down to the the shaft of the of the hair strands so i'm putting a little bit more water just to make sure that i'm able to work that product in there properly and I'm going to work it in and I'm going to then section it, twist it, and put it under heat. So as you can see here, Cam's hair in the back, like I said, is a little bit um, of a tighter curl because you can see the shrinkage more so there than in the front. The front is more of like a looser curl, a little more of a wave. Um, his hair is the same length overall throughout his head. It's just some curls are tighter than others. So I'm here um, combing through. Make sure you do a little bit of the ends first then you can go through the roots and work your way down. Um, be very gentle with their hair. This is sped up so it looks like I'm going really fast and really strong, but I'm not. Um, and just section it. You can twist it. You can braid it. Whatever you prefer. Um, just make sure that we get all that product worked in there. As you can see, look at these little curls, coils, twists, everything. Cam's hair is just a mixture and I absolutely love it.
All right, so we're just gonna place their hair under a foil uh, cap. I use this one. You could use a regular one if you like, but I find that it it's a better heat conductor to use this kind instead of like the plastic. So just let it sit under there for 15, 20 minutes, whatever makes you comfortable. You can use a heat cap, you can use um, a blow dryer, uh, like a hooded dryer, or you can use a regular blow dryer. So this is what we got when we were done. Uh, his hair is still in some twists there. But when you take it out, you can just see that definition. You can see that shine. You can see that um, curl in there. So I do like the results that I got from it. Like I said, I didn't do it on all of it. So, you know, it looks a little different here and there. Um, but I would do it again. Um, I'm just going to be doing it with water this time. I may like once every couple of months do it with vinegar, but more than likely I'll be doing it with water. So this was a little clip that I put on our Instagram. Don't forget to head over there at Keeping Up With Cam. Follow us, like our pictures, comment, let us know what's going on. All right, so this is the Indian hemp. I'm using this in his scalp nowadays. I really do like it. It's um, it's very natural, so it's not a lot of like uh, chemicals or anything in there. I use this in my own hair as well. Just seeing how his hair is becoming um is going through changes it's now time to make sure that his scalp is moisturized when i'm doing either just these plaits for after wash day or when i'm doing his regular braids um so that one i've my mom has used it i've used it so i trust it and i know you know how it is in hair so that's the one that i go with you can feel free to use whatever type of um grease or whatever that you're more comfortable with but that was just you know what i like we're using our regular Shea Moisture Curling Buttercream. I'm adding that to each section. So we had the water as the liquid, we had the curling buttercream as our cream, and then we're putting the oil as our sealant. I have that mixture of Jamaican black castor oil, peppermint oil, and olive oil. My go-tos, I absolutely love them. I have no issues with them. And then I'm just braiding. So this is just going to get all that product into the hair. It's gonna let it sit, it's gonna let it relax. We're stretching the hair to dry by braiding it. Uh, you can twist it if you'd like. I just prefer the braids because I find it stays in a little bit longer and it makes it a little easier like if we have to run to the grocery store or something, like his hair is in like a decent looking type of style so he can go outside. Um, so this is what I'm going to be doing. I think I did about four on each side. Uh, we'll see for sure, but you don't have to do anything fancy. Honestly, it's just a post wash day protective style, making sure that the uh, roots aren't being manipulated too much and make sure that the ends have got all the moisture that they need. They're retaining that moisture and then that's just going to allow our hair to grow um, and retain length as it's growing. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do a sit down video um, you guys know I'm a little nervous with showing my face, um, but I'm going to do a sit down video. I'm going to just give you guys like a really good understanding of porosity. Um, I'm going to focus more so on low porosity cause that's the hair type that Cam has. Um, and a lot of you said that he has the same type of hair that your kiddos have. So at least it'll be, um, it'll be informative so you guys can know, okay, well, yeah, this is what we have or this isn't what we have. And you guys can also look into um, your different hair types, how to find out the hair porosity and what to do with them. So I will be putting that out. It won't be too long of a video, um, maybe this week, but definitely, definitely next week, if not this week. Remember guys, moisture is the most important thing. Um, and moisture isn't technically oils. We need to have that liquid moisture. So a leave-in conditioner works, a liquid leave-in works, but we have water. It's free, it's available, and it's honestly the best thing. So I keep spraying his hair as much as I can while braiding it, that way that it's still wet. 
the, the product is sitting in his hair and it's working its way through the hair as I'm braiding it. Um, but you can, like I said, use the leave-in. Make sure you're not afraid of using it. This is why I generally do like his braid styles like the second day or the third day because his hair has had time to dry and I'm not doing it in that wet state. But this is absolutely important. Um, that way the hair is just staying and growing and living up to its fullest potential. If you saw before this section, you would see that his hair was already dry. You can see in the other side too. And I haven't even finished half his hair yet. So his hair will get dry really quickly. This is a characteristic of low porosity. You guys will find out in the video. Um, so water, 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 liquid, best friend. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished product of our uh, post wash day style. This is like my go-to, just love putting it in um, braided plaits. The twists are nice, but they just don't last as long and I find them to be not as effective for us. So I just braided them. There are one, two, three, four on each side. So that makes like what, eight? When we go outside, I just leave the two in the front down. I take the ones in the middle, put them up in a little bun and I leave the two in the back down. Super cute style, super easy. Or you could just wear a hat over all of them. That works too. We hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I want to make sure that you guys know I'm putting out the porosity video very soon. Look out for that. Ask me any questions you want answered in that video and I will get to them. Uh, so I just want to say again, thanks so much for watching our videos. Uh, we hope you enjoy. Let us know how you like it. Subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up, and share. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.